All right, let's, um, let's get back to it. Here's fractions. Um, previously, I went over the bars, how you find fractions with bars, where remember, it's a part over a whole, and you have a numerator over a denominator. So let's go back through it now again, but let's look at a circle. So remember, all we have with the fraction is our whole. And remember, our whole is going to be how much can we divide our whole into. So let's take a look at just a basic example. Here, I've now divided it into two. So my denominator would be over 2. And if I section both these off, now I've taken my whole, right, the whole circle, and divided it into four parts. So in this case, my, divide, my denominator would be 4. So let's actually use this as an example. Um, so let's say I have 4 is going to be my denominator. And then how many parts I select or choose are going to be the number of um, parts up top. So remember, you just take your whole. It's going to be the number of sections you ma that make up your whole. And then let's say I decide to select only one part. Therefore, my fraction is 1 fourth. I have chosen one part out of a total of four parts. And those four parts make up the whole. Uh, another one we can look at here is, let's, uh, I'll try to do this evenly. No, didn't get better. Oh. Yeah, I forgot. There we go. Try to do these as evenly as possible, but if we could take a look at this one, we can say how many parts do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have a total of six parts, so that's going to be my denominator. And let's say I select two of them. So therefore, the number of parts selected will be two. And remember, we'll get into this a little bit later, but remember, we always want to make sure we reduce our fraction. Um, two parts, two parts over six, can be reduced down to one third. And again, I can show you that in another video. And uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll show you that in another video here. Um, lastly, let's just do another one here. Now, these should all be even, but, you know, like I said, it's not always going to be perfect. Um, so here, if I select, I have selected three parts out of a total of how many parts can I choose from? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Therefore, the fraction for this one will be three over eight. So that's a little bit of your basics into fractions when you're dealing with a circular hole compared to a rectangular hole.